So in this video, I'm going to show you all of the treasure locations and solutions in Far Cry New Dawn and sort of do a quick walkthrough of each treasure. I'll have all of the timestamps to each treasure in the description and in the comments so you can flip through each one if you want. There are a total of 10 treasures and each will give you tons of different resources including springs, gears, 3 perk magazines each, and 45 Far Cry credits each. So starting at the bottom of the map with the For Whom the Bear Tolls treasure which is found here at the Fang Center. Once you eliminate the enemies here, pick up the note from the yellow box here in the little stand and it'll start the quest. Now go to the top of the church and punch the bell three times to call the bear over to you. Once he gets over here you'll need to kill him and then loot his dead body for a key. Behind the church will be a hole in the ground. You'll need to go in there and it'll lead you to a locked door that you should now be able to open using the key. Open up the door and this is where all of the treasure is. Next up we have the going haywire treasure which is located right here on the map. The note to start the quest is located next to a lamp on a box which looks to be a giant battery. You'll need to shut off the electricity that's going crazy in the middle there so you can access the hatch that's under it. To do this, you'll first need to climb on top of the roof of the house or trailer and you'll see a little window type thing on the roof. Aim through here and shoot the lock off of the front door. Now hop down off of the roof and go through the front door that you just unlocked. Right when you get inside, turn to the left and go all the way to the last room and you'll see a yellow switch right beside the wall. Hit that switch off and it should stop the electricity, allowing you to go outside and into the hatch where the electricity was just going. This is where you'll find the treasure. The next treasure is called High Art and it can be found on the coast of this river here to the northeast of prosperity. The quest starter note is located on the trailer that's holding three different cars standing up. I believe you'll need the grappling hook perk for this one and you'll also need it for a couple other treasures so it's probably best to go ahead and get that perk if you don't have it already. But once you have that perk, come behind the pink barn and there will be a little windmill type thing with a zip line on it. Look at the top and grappling hook up and then detach by pressing B or circle and you should zip line into the window. Turn right and there will be a little crawl space that you'll have to crouch down and crawl through. Now if you have the double jump, you can easily hop over to the other side and crouch down to get into the other space over there on the left. If not, just jump down and walk over here to the left and turn the yellow valve. It should lift up the blue car. Now just jump back up onto the ledge that you just jumped down from and then jump onto the blue car and onto the other side. There will be another crawl space here that leads you to another yellow valve that will move another car down at the bottom leading to the treasure. Just open that up and hop back down and now you can walk behind the yellow car into the treasure room. Now we have the Riddle Me Fish treasure which can be a little tricky. It's located here at this cabin and the note to start the quest is on the left side of the house in a yellow box on a green roof of a buried house. And if you notice, there's also a shack on the opposite side of the house, which is where the treasure is behind a locked door. Beside the locked door are some fish that are used to input the lock code. To unlock this door, what you need to do is head into the cabin and there's two different ways to get the code. You can press the generator and watch the order that the fish go and just look at the numbers above and below each fish and you can memorize it or you can hop up top of here into this little room and next to a picture of Boomer is a note with the code number on it. For me, and I think the code is the same for everyone, the code is 246135. Now we just need to head outside of the cabin and into the little shed and down the ladder. On each wall will be a fish with numbers. Enter your code, which is again 246135 by holding square or X on each fish in that order. It'll open up the treasure room and you can grab all of your loot. Again, if you don't want to go get the code yourself, it is 246. 135. Rescuers Go Under is the name of our fifth treasure and I've seen some people having trouble with this one and partly because it's a bit buggy at one part. But anyways it's located directly west of the pantry outpost and starts at the bottom of a mountain and river and you'll need the grappling hook perk for this one also. Grab the note that starts the treasure hunt down here and just grappling hook or fly to the top where you'll find a big hole or entrance to a cave. Jump down into the water and go underwater through the little pathway here and go back to the top for some air. This treasure will be a little bit easier if you have some upgrades on the lung capacity perk. But just grab the ledge to get on top of this piece of rock and look up to grapple and hook some more. You'll find some more small pathways that you'll need to walk through, followed by some more water that you'll need to swim through. You'll eventually come to a ledge with some grappling hook spots. Grappling hook onto the first one, then press X or square to hop to the next one, and then detach once you're near the next ledge. Walk forward and you'll fall through the cave and into the water. Now beside the green truck will be another underwater tunnel that you'll need to swim through. Swim through that and you'll find another cave. Hop onto this ledge here and there will be a yellow box. Across from this ledge will be a car sitting here on a slight ramp. This is where a lot of people were having trouble because you need to release the brakes on the car by looking at the wheel and it'll give you the option to hold X or square to release them. This option was not here for me at first and it took it a while to give me the option. It actually didn't give me the option until my co-op teammate tossed a C4 at it. So that might be something worth trying if you don't have the option to release the brakes on it. I'm pretty sure you can just look at any wheel of the car but I just looked at the back wheel and did it. When you do, it should fall into the water and you can use it to hop onto 
into the other ledge in front of it. Right in this room is where the treasure is. Next is the target practice treasure, which is located here, kind of in the center part of the map. Grab the treasure note off of the hood of the car, and if you head down into the cellar, basement area to the left of the house, you'll notice that it's locked. Now leave out of there and turn to the left and go past the car following the zip line cable, and you'll find a hole in the ground. Next to the hole are these construction things in case you're having trouble finding it. Go down into the hole and drop down off each ledge, and when you get to the bottom, turn left and go up the stairs. Eventually, you'll come to an area with a bunch of gears and a locked door. Go over and hit the yellow switch on the left wall. After hitting the switch, look at the big wheel on the left side that should now be spinning. There's a broken piece missing from it, and if you look through that missing piece, there's a target spinning around behind it. Shoot it with whatever weapon you want, and it'll stop the wheel. Now, just to the right, a new target will be moving right behind the switch up top. Shoot it, and it'll cause two more targets to start moving under it. Shoot those and turn around and look at the wall behind you on the right side. Some targets should start to pop out from over the metal slabs. There are four different ones peeking out that you'll need to shoot. After shooting them, it should start moving the contraption to open up the locked door. Go into the doorway and up the stairs where you'll find your treasure. Now onto the best laid plans treasure hunt. This one is located along the river just south of the island that you start on in Far Cry 5. The quest starting note is found on top of some boxes next to the broken bridge. Now what you want to do is hop into the red train car on the ground. Now look up into the next train car and grapple up onto the outside ledge and look up to grapple into the next one. If you look outside, you'll see another grapple spot that will bring you onto the bridge. Now take a right and go towards the edge of the bridge and now you'll need to grapple over to the other section of the bridge. When you do the first grapple, it should cause a train car to fall. Grapple that spot and swing there until it gives you the option to push X or square to grapple to the next one. Now pull yourself up onto the ledge and you'll have a little walkway to follow. Just take your time here because the bridge will start to wobble around and you don't really want to fall here. Finally, we're at the last grappling hook section. Grappling hook over to the train car, then look a bit to your left and click X or square to grapple to the next section, and then hit it again for the next which should bring you onto a blue train car. Just walk straight ahead through the train cars and you should come to another blue train car which contains the treasure. Now for the Burning Souls treasure. This one can be a little confusing if you don't know what to do. You'll see a wooden stick walkway up ahead. To the right on a rock before the entrance will be the note to start the treasure. Now walk straight ahead through the entrance and you'll find a burn pit, which you'll need to ignite with some fire arrows or incendiary ammo or a molotov. Now after you ignite it, there are five dead bodies laying around in this area which you'll need to toss into the fire. Each time you toss one into the fire, some wolves will chase you so just watch out. The first body is laying right next to the fire over to the left. The second is laying right under the the little gazebo walk area to the left of the fire. The third guy is over to the right inside of the actual building. The fourth guy is towards that same building, but more to the left up a little ramp walkway on a platform hanging over a railing. The last guy is on the mountain ledge up above the fire. You can pick him up and throw him in or just kick him in. After you get all five bodies into the fire, you'll be able to walk into the cave entrance directly behind the fire in the mountain we were just on top of. Walk through there and you will find the treasure. The ninth treasure is called Go With The Flow and it's located more on the upper right side of the map just north of the destroyed John Seed statue. It's located on the edge of the mountain alongside the river in a cave. It'll be marked with a white flag at the entrance. Go into the cave and read the note to start the quest. Some wolves should start running into the caves when you do. Kill them and leave the cave and zip line down out of here and over to the campfire next to the dead wolf. You'll need to grab the key sitting next to the fire. Once you do, head down the river following the white flags. You'll cross several wooden bridges. Just make sure you stay with the white flags, pretty much just staying with the walkway in the river. River. You'll eventually come to a section over here where you'll find a waterfall. Jump off of the waterfall and into the water below. To the left will be a dead wolf next to a cave entrance. Go into the cave and unlock the door with the key that we picked up. Finally, at our last treasure, we have the light em up treasure here at the big overgrown church building. Go behind the church and pick up the note on a bench to start the quest. Now head over to the right side of the building, or if you're still looking at the front of the building, it would be to the left side of the building, and you'll find a little crawl space entrance. Head inside and walk towards the bed with the skeleton on it and look up. Jump onto the ledge up above. Head through here and turn right to drop off of the ledge. There would be a wolverine here that will attack you, but we accidentally killed him by starting a fire outside, so just keep an eye out for him. But just keep heading through the little crawl areas until you get to the end of the building, and if you look up, there will be another ledge that you'll need to climb. Then look to your left and climb onto the other ledge. Now just drop off of the ledge, and over in the right side corner will be a wolverine nest that you'll sadly need to burn down. Burn it with a molotov or incendiary ammo, and a wolverine should come running out. Kill it and loot him 
him for the key. Now you'll want to run out of here pretty fast because the church is going to start to burn. Just turn around and on the left side will be an open doorway that looks like it goes outside. Run through there and take a right back into the building and into a crawl space. Keep going straight and up the ramp which should bring you outside. There's multiple ways to get out of here but just follow the way that I went if you can't get out. Now behind the church is a shed. The key that we needed to unlock it was looted off of the Wolverine. So just open it up and you'll find the treasure. But that's pretty much it guys. If this video helped make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more guides. We have plenty more coming for Far Cry New Dawn and just about every other new game that releases. See ya!